they're gonna take him serious now. Yeah. Like a fucking boss, dude. Like <laughs> Chappelle even straight up said it. I give him props, dude, for being a comedian and putting his sack on the table. He said, you like that fool's gangster. Like he, he straight up who he is. This is who I am. He ran as a as a person. People voted him in. Mm -hmm. So like we deserve exactly what we get. And it's this beautiful shift that's gonna happen. It, I think yeah, storm's coming. But it's not Trump's fault. It's not one person's fault. It's like it's just it's been going on. Like we've worked ourselves up to this point now. Now we get this can now we get this. <coughs> and if people are like they get informed, dude, I think they'll be happy. Like he com it convinced me like researching like policies, like you said. Like on it's like you ever like what policies are you in favor of of like say someone other than Trump? Like a policy you like that you think would change things by the federal government. That's something they can, the law that they will do and make things better. Off the top of my head, I can't think of one. <laughs> There's so many already and like nobody's listening to them. That's the thing. Do you want to talk about his like idea for healthcare? Because I think you gave me more information on it than like I could understand. Oh yeah, like, the HSAs? Thing. Yeah, like how does that work? Because like a friend was asking me about it and I was like, oh, I don't know, like I think you like what have, like, could you like explain it? Yeah, because like, okay, so first like Trump's free market, so like he, you have to understand that's where these decisions come from. So he lives in an open free market. He's a capitalist. So he, what he wants to do is repeal Obamacare. It's not getting rid of Medicare and all that. Just Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, that's gone. And he's gonna give tax credits for. There's all again. It's, it's a lot. It's like across the board, basically, to basically give you money back to get your own insurance. But in the he's gonna re, but then he's gonna take away laws that allow states to compete with each other. So right now, like California can't buy drugs from Nevada. Like you have to, it's all in your own state. So it's allowing companies to get monopolies on industries, and they jack up the prices. So once you have competition, it's all free market principles. Then you have more, you have lower prices actually, and then you have new companies being built, and that's that's capitalism. It grows very well, for very well. Now you argue right or wrong about that, but. The point is, it does work. So Trump wants to do that to the economy. He wants to unleash it because we've been <coughs> restricted by federal regulations, like laws they have, all those stupid laws. And people don't get that, and they're afraid of it, but really it'll be better for us. Like, I believe this. It will be better. And it's not because Trump said so. It's because that's what... It's a, that's the economics that I researched. Like, that's the way it works. Like, history has shown us. Competition this works. brings money down. Yeah, and it's like, dude, if he unleashes American ingenuity into the world again, into the 21st century, people are going to be laughing hardcore because he can actually do something really radical. Money's not the end of all things, but dude, it would allow more individualism to be birthed. That's what he wants. Like, you want private, less government. You want the people to have power. You still have rule of law. You still have the Constitution. You don't get rid of those things. You, but... And then people say, what about these? Well, everything else are like, they're social issues. That's their important. They're important. But this is the engineering. So you want to argue about free whatever, free college? You want to argue about whatever, it's free, your rights, all that? They aren't like civil rights? You wouldn't have it if none of this other stuff worked. We live, we're all spoiled. Like we've gotten wealthy and like we haven't, we're, we're, in, a, we're in a recession. Like we have been, they don't even deny it anymore. Like Obama's sucked balls as a president. And it's just the business of it until like, He's a buffoon, like I said, but as a businessman, like he is, he is really smart. So maybe that's what this country needs is like someone who's just gonna start doing. They're not, they're not emotional about shit. They're just like, I just need to do the job. So they're gonna hate him, but what if he starts in a year? You know, people are like, oh, my taxes went down because that's what his tax plan is. He's mm -hmm. cutting taxes all like all the way down. And I think if you make less than forty thousand, like you don't pay any taxes. Like any federal like income tax, and the people are he's doing radical changes, and they're the system's pissed the fuck off. All right. <laughs> so I don't know, like he's racist. Okay, what is he? Even if like okay, even if he was fucking racist, what is he gonna do behind the desk? I'm racist. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm racist. Fucking black guy. Fucking black people. And uh -huh. it's like okay, so he's still like that's not how the law, that's not how our government <laughs> works. Like. Okay, make this like he's not a dictator. <clears throat> Maybe I just should have played people for suckers. <laughs> didn't work all the way though, dude. Social media just dominated. Fuck yeah, dude. Social media can be so fucking toxic sometimes. Like I can be on there and I'm just like, 
I'm gonna go fucking read or something cause, like, <laughs> cause this shit's like fucking me up I like, feel <laughs> disgusting like the, it's just all emotional manipulation yeah. and it's like the same Production. little like like if this is a whole picture it gives you about that much and put something super fucking emotional on it like fucking baby killing like <laughs> blah 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 and you're just yeah. like, oh my god and, it pulls you in and, and like but nobody's talking about policies nobody's talking about like like being reasonable about they're giving us what the dumb down it's fucking, what we get is uh politics for dummies that's what they give us that's not what's happening it's like it's so much more it's like than that like pico right? project meeting oh how does it work there's bylaws do you know the bylaws no but if you didn't have those technically then you wouldn't be doing what you like that's you have to have those while we had to pass them mm -hmm. those are the details and then you make sense of all this other stuff that you're projecting out it's projected out because you can reverse back people don't get that they're just getting like this little cartoon version of life there you go it's a reality tv show play those games yeah, yeah. Just making fire dance and playing in the shadows. And well, once you break that paradigm, I don't, I don't like, I'm not a Republican. I, I know that's how I sound to people, but it's like, no, nah, man, it's... Yeah, neither am I. Like, I don't, I don't believe in, in like, that, like, party system or whatever. Yeah, no but way. I also don't believe in big government. Right. So, like, that's good to me. They like, keep putting us in boxes. Those policies, right? And I don't want to minimize, like, people's, like, struggles and strife and, like, the, like, good work that they're doing. I'm just saying, like, there, there is more than that work. There's this mm -hmm. other side of the work, you know what I mean, that is equally as important to help us, like, function, th especially on this scale, you know? And, like, I don't find a lot of places to talk about it, like, yeah. in, like, radical communities, like, or whatever. Like, I have, like, I have a friend who's, like, constantly posting all this like bleh, like fucking unfriend me you're fucking racist like, blah 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 like constantly sorry, sorry. and like sometimes i see like the like the the contradictions and the logic through some things yeah. but if i try to engage this person and be like hey like like this you know what i mean they're very very defensive they're rabid and like 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 jump down my throat kind of thing and like i don't have the heart to like yeah, like me, if you disagree with me, I'm gonna try to, I'll try to convince you. I'm not gonna put you down. Yeah. I'm gonna no. tell you like, well look, here's some information, boom, boom, boom. And then you're like, Well, here's some information, boom, boom, like, oh, good point, good point. I don't know, at that point you got me. That's a conversation. <laughs> Instead of like, hey, check this out, you're like, I'm fucking racist. Dude, like, that's... What the fuck? <laughs> I've been that route where you try to send links to somebody and it does not go well. No. <laughs> it's just like, oh fuck, yeah. no, there's yeah. something wrong with you. Forget about it. <laughs> they go nuts. And like, I'll ask like a neutral party and they'll be like, no, that doesn't sound okay. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't think so. Fuck. You know what I mean? Well, the radical, man, like you said, like the word, the word itself, is, it's extreme. It's a extreme and then like, I like, I feel it, you know, I feel that, but like, yeah, it has to be balanced, or we can't move forward. You know what I mean? Like, I think in a year, people are gonna have a way different opinion because I don't even not not even everyone has really read like the the WikiLeaks stuff. That's how mm -hmm. like a lot of people aren't informed on a lot of stuff. So, and there's still like four more weeks. Yeah, of, dude. Like, emails supposed to come. Yeah, out. that's crazy, dude. So it's gonna keep coming out, and and you know like people aren't. It's not important to people. It's not pop culture. So like. Give it some time, and then once SNL does a skit about it, if that's how everything works, and then it's like, oh snap, like this is how, it's already old news. If you're like paying attention, well, I think that like people are gonna see it's, it's gonna change. It's actually gonna change. If he doesn't get killed. They wanna oh, shoot, they, people wanna oh, kill his ass. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like, you guys love democracy, don't you? I don't wanna do <laughs> This is democracy. I've heard worse shit from his VP. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, people like hate well, pants on. Well, I don't, I don't know like, much about that guy. He's too religious. Yeah, that's what yeah, I hear. Like, I think that's why I left the Republican Party. Yeah, he's all he's very religious. militaristic too looking. Just, right. I have my students today write, I told them, I'm teaching them how to write letters. So tell me you can write a letter to President Obama about what he can do in his last few months or to President elect like, Trump. They all chose Trump, of course. <laughs> and one of them was like, can I write, please don't die? Aww. I was like, why? He's like, because I'm afraid of pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, maybe That's Trump, brilliant, but... Maybe Trump picked them for that reason. <laughs> 10, 11 years. 
see you guys. That's pretty yeah. solid. And I was like, no, I'm like, I told them focus on an issue, like pick an issue. Most of them pick like the environment or immigration. Or something mm -hmm. like let's that, do the so. let's do the racist test. Name I want na name something that Trump has said that's racist, and let's see if it's really racist. And be open-minded about I, it. I, that's what I, I tell my students. Like one of them said, "Can I ask him why he hates Mexicans?" I'm like, "When has he ever said that he hates Mexicans?" Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Tell me when." They're like, "He said that." I'm like, "You can't think of when." He, I give people yeah. a chance all the time. Like, dude, yeah. I tell me, like, it's like I tell people, like, show me here, here, yeah, like, not being a dick. Me. Like, <laughs> I promise. Like, I'll show you one real quick. So show me. Just it should yeah, be really popular if you Google it, and then they're like, "Whoa." Well, I don't know. I don't remember right now. It's like, well, because you don't even know. Have you ever even, like, listened to the whole thing of what people... Like, I know. It's like, I geeked out on it, so I know in and out. Like, I understand when someone says, dude, that sounds racist. Yeah. It's a lot different than calling someone a racist. Mm -hmm. That's, that's like, you've gone too far. Like, the, you know, it's like, that's emotions. It's identity politics. Like, mm -hmm. well, I'm Mexican, so fuck you then, motherfucker. You said anything negative about me. <laughs> the hell? Like... Chill the fuck out. Like, okay, so what about that whole, that big thing that's circulating, that's like the only quote, like, you see from him is that he said that people coming in from Mexico, like, illegal immigrants are rapists, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did say yeah. that, but not like that. Not, okay, so not what's the context? So like, he's explaining that, he's talking about Mexico, the country, the government, not the people, first mm -hmm. of all. He's, Shall we play he, it? Yeah, we can totally mm -hmm. play it. Um, and he's talking about, he's talking about that. And explaining there's a problem at the border. We have drugs. We have people coming over that we don't know who they are. He's explaining that in the way Trump talks. And he said some of them are this. And he's na he's naming things that some of them. it's true. There are some of them are rapists. Some of them have disease. Some of yes, these aren't. It's not a racist statement to state that, but it's to how he said it. And then he didn't say all Mexicans. And he's only talking about illegal immigrants. He's not talking about people here, Whoa. like me. Or you, or like, it's talking about people who are crossing the border, like, illegally in our country. Yeah. And whether it's a human issue or not. They just react. Yeah, but he's not saying, like, you have to, like, like that's the identity politics part. Like, if you cut your brain off right there and just think, like, logical. He's, we, if we have an issue, whether or not you agree with the border or not, we have a border. We pay for a fucking border. We have people down there doing the job. It's part of the Constitution. You don't like it? Change the constitution. Okay, so he's just saying, let's secure the border. Let's do our job because mm -hmm. the government's not letting them do their job. And we have an influx of people, not just Mexicans. There's like South, all kinds of South Americans, people in other countries too. They're not getting checked. They're not getting vetted. Like that's a safety issue. Like it's not racism. I just think it's irresponsible to like speak that way. But like yeah, everything else is still point. stands. That's like, a good point, though. Like and that's. Like, and I, you, I would not even argue with yeah, you that, like, you shouldn't say things like that in a way. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's what one of my kids wrote. Like, like she's a smart girl. I wish I got the letters. Mm -hmm. She wrote because I, I was questioning her, like, when has he said something racist? And she wrote. She knew the whole quote. Like, I. She wrote to him too. I remember you said that they bring in drugs, they bring in crime, that they're rapists. And I, the the assignment was the first part. You have to address the issue and why it's important to you. And the second part is. Give him a suggestion on how he can change that. And she says, I really think that you need to rephrase your words every time you speak. Like, you know that. Fuck yeah! He's irresponsible! Because people think he should die. Yeah, but it's like... And she was like, can I say that to him? Is that rude? I'm like, no, tell him that. That's pretty rude. Yeah, and you should tell him that. And that's the that's the beauty of our fucking country. It's like you you should tell the president that you don't like yeah. what he's doing. And that, that's what I tell him. Like the point of this is because he's working for you. You gotta tell him what to do. Yeah, he's not Obama. Everyone yeah. just like sucks this guy's cock, dude. Like <laughs> he's a celebrity and Jay Z and Beyonce. Like that's he's disgusting to me. Like that guy's a liar. Like he betrayed us. He betrayed this country. And then and then then they see like you abandoned your child. It's too much, dude. It's like you abandoned your child. No, Give me the blood. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! Give me the blood. Give me the blood, Eli. Let me get out of here. Give me the blood, Lord! Give me the blood, Lord. Give me the blood Lord. And let me get away! Get out of here, devil! Out, out devil! Out, sin! The USA Church of the Third Revelation is your spiritual guide!